Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dion and today I am trying out 10 runway trends using stuff in my own closet. As you guys know, my whole thing on this channel is sustainable fashion. So I want to show you guys that even though trends come and go and there's always new trends, 90% of the time you can adapt it to stuff that you already own. Two weeks ago, I did a bopper flop on autumn, winter, 2024, 2025 runway trends. So it's Essentially, I'm just going to take those same trends that I talked about in that video and I'm going to try them out in this video. So if you like sustainable fashion and fashion commentary in general, then definitely make sure to subscribe to this channel because I post videos every Thursday and with that, let us get into it. So the first trend I'm trying out is the fur trend. So I decided to go with this fur jacket that I got from Thread Up from Joey, J-O-I-E. It came with a cute little like bow as well, but I decided to keep it open for this one. And for this outfit, I was trying to think of like, when well, my boyfriend and I go see the Nutcracker Ballet during the holidays. And so I wanted to do something sort of fancy, sort of ballet-esque, sort of like Madeline, the little girl in Paris sort of energy with the Mary Janes. So I paired the fur coat with this nightgown that I recently thrifted and my favorite black beaded purse that is from Liz Claiborne that I also thrifted. These shoes are new. They are from Born, which is like my favorite comfortable orthopedic footwear company. And I just have some frilly lace socks to kind of pick up the lace in the nightgown. And to sort of top it off, I decided to go with this hat. I just wanted something a little bit extra, something that makes it feel more like an outfit rather than me just like putting on clothes. And I really feel like the hat tied it all together and like created a really cute silhouette. Again, I feel like Madeline and the 12 little girls in Paris with the hat and the Mary Janes. And I think it's very cute. In a similar vein, cheetah print was also a pretty big trend that I saw in the trends list. I only have this cheetah print vest that I thrifted in New York one time. So I decided to style that. And I actually put on this Jerf Avenue little black dress and then a Charlotte Ruth mock neck that I thrifted over on top of it and then the vest because I wanted to create a very like Fran Fine, the nanny style silhouette with like the turtleneck, the short dress, and then the vest on top. Another trend that I saw a lot was calf hair or like cow print with calf hair. So I paired it with these Donald Pliner calf hair heels that I've had for so long. I thrifted them in Miami like five years ago, but I don't wear them that often because they're a little bit uncomfortable, but they are very, very cute. And then with my Coach Lana bag, I know the browns in the shoes, the bag, and the vest don't necessarily match, but I sort of kind of like it. I like that it's sort of all over the place, and I like that the pattern in the dress you can also pick up. I also think because the silhouette of the outfit, like tiny point shoes, a short dress, tight on top, I like the big oversized bag. It feels like I'm like a Polly Pocket that like hopped out of the bag in my cute little outfit. The next trend I have is the Boho 2.0 trend. And I really want to adapt Boho style for autumn winter. I feel like often Boho is associated with like spring and summer because it's like flowy dresses and flowy skirts. So I really wanted to stick with an autumn color palette. This shirt is cotton, so it's not very autumnal. I got it from a boutique in Newport, Rhode Island. Bria and I actually got matching ones. And you can tie it a bunch of different ways. I tied it like the most slutty way, but you can make it more conservative or like cover more of your body if you wanted to. For the silhouette, I just wanted to like create this shape and I'm pairing it with a wool skirt that's from Eddie Bauer that I thrifted from Savers a few years ago. These wool skirts are some of my favorites for autumn and winter because I just get so bored of wearing pants. And I don't think there's anything more witchy than boots with a long skirt or a long dress. And so I paired it with these black boots from Nine West that I also thrifted and this orange bag that I got for Christmas for my friend. She got it from Crossroads. And I like how the X's on the front of the bag sort of mimic the X in the shape of the shirt and the X's in the plaid of the skirt. I feel like that all ties together. And it just has like a pop of color in more or less a black outfit. I love the flowiness of it and I like that it's like witchy energy. <laughs> this next trend was olive green or just green in general. Green was such a big trend. And it's funny because I have a lot of green, but I realized they are like 
all different shades of green. So I wanted to do like a head to toe green outfit and it was like Kelly green with olive, with hunter green, with pastel green, with like, it was a lot. So I decided to just go with a green and brown outfit, starting with my Prada cashmere sweater, which I think is so cute. It has beaded detailing across the top of it and it's like a boat neck, which I also think is so cute. And I got the Prada cashmere from Vestiaire. I'm wearing a pleather skirt from Poshmark and liquid leather was also a pretty big trend that I saw. So I wanted to sort of like drive that home as well. To continue with the green, I have this purse that I got from Savers. It's from Sheen, but it's supposed to be like a Balenciaga bag. Even though they kind of clash, I it's it's fine for me. And for shoes, I paired it with these clogs from Born, again, one of my favorite shoe companies, and this big fluffy scarf from Joey, which is also from Thredda. I liked how the pink in the scarf picked up the pink in the beading of the sweater, and that the brown sort of tied in with the shoes and the skirt. And I think overall, it's just a very cute outfit. I feel like a little like pistachio. The scarf is a little bit big, and like, why would I be wearing such a fluffy scarf with a short skirt but I think texturally and just like to add in more colors I think it's very cute and I really like this outfit actually I love this cashmere top all right the next trend I tried out was prep and I really was trying to picture like Blair Waldorf Upper East Side in the fall shopping going to the ice skating rink like that energy a lot of the prep that we saw on the runway was like navy blue or french blue and honestly i was in a uniform for 18 years of my life and if i never see the color navy blue again i will be so happy i think navy blue should be like arrested like literally like someone should arrest the color and put it in jail and never let anybody wear it ever again i actually hate navy blue so instead, I wanted to really focus on texture and like chunky knits was a, another big trend. So I wanted to combine the two. So I went very schoolgirl with this teal Miu Miu skirt. I don't think anything is more preppy than Miu Miu, especially their pleated skirts. And again, green is a pretty big trend. So I thought that was cute. And then I paired it with this knit sweater that I actually made myself. Collars were a big trend. So I thought this was cute, a little like collar action with the top. And I think it pairs with the skirt really well. And to carry on the cable knit theme, I have this cable knit wool headband that my mom got me from Ireland and these leg warmers that are actually just socks from Forever 21 from like quite literally 2016 that I cut the bottom of and just turned them into leg warmers. I paired it with these black loafers, again, keeping in with like sort of a preppy schoolgirl look. And then to add some texture and just a little bit of pop of color, I added this Prada purse. I know people have feelings about mixing designers but Prada and Miu Miu are sister brands so I thought it worked well and I thought it was very like upper east side of me. This is my take on like a preppy fall winter thing. It's not as office-y or like uniform vibes as the runway but that's just not me so that's how I adapted it. Next we have plaid and I have so much plaid and part of me was like do I do like a head to toe plaid energy? I have plaid jackets, I have a plaid flannel, I have plaid skirts, like what do I do? And for this I was really inspired by like Gucci and their runway styles and also like the frazzled English woman aesthetic. So that's what I was sort of going for. I started off with this plaid skirt that I got from Savers a while ago. It's not wool but I like that it's lightweight and kind of gives that feeling and I paired it with this belt that I got from Poshmark it's funny I initially got it for the Taylor Swift concert but I didn't end up wearing it but it's before I put the belt on in this outfit I was like there's something missing and it, I looked a little bit like matronly and like librarian energy and then when I put the belt on it took it to like frazzled English woman Gucci cool so I'm really happy with that I paired that with these cute little like Mary Jane heels that I got from Savers they are by BOC because of comfort, because of colors, something like that, but like another orthopedic brand. <laughs> if you can't tell, there's a theme. And I wanted some like contrasting. I added this striped Jones New York mock neck. It's 100% cotton. I got it from my friend's vintage store. It's one of my favorites. It's so soft. 
And then on top of that, I did a leather blazer that I got from ThreadUp just to create a really cool silhouette. And to keep in with like the Gucci theme of like, and mixing different textures and colors, I liked how the stripes in the purse, which is quite like a summery purse, sort of went with the stripes in the top. And then to match it even more, I paired it with this teal hair clip that picked up the teal in the purse. And the purse uh, Maria got me for my birthday. She thrifted it and I think it's so cute. And I think together it all actually works. I know it's a little, maybe it's not everybody's style and it's very like, mix and match but i love this outfit i didn't think i was gonna love it as much as i did and i think it's so cute and fun for fall and such a like i don't know i think it's a really classy cute outfit the next trend i'm trying out is the shawl trend collars funnel necks shawls that was all like a big trend so i took this scarf that my mom got in bolivia one time and because the scarf is so colorful i wanted to keep everything else quite plain and just have like red and gray be the base and the scarf really speak for itself so i had this sort of boat neck red long sleeve that i got from savers it's from candies the brand and it's quite like a long waisted top and so for this i wanted to create sort of a long line silhouette really accentuate the length of my torso rather than the length of my legs which is what i usually do that way when i drape the shawl on top i still had space to kind of make myself look long and lean so i paired it with this denim gray skirt from Jerf Avenue, one of my favorites, my red coach bag and my red corrals, and then just let the scarf speak for itself. You can drape it very thickly across or you can drape it sort of just around your neck. And normally, like I'm not a big scarf person. I don't like things around my neck that much, but I do think this outfit is super classy, super pretty, and I actually really like the silhouette of it. It's a little bit maybe like mature for my taste, but I liked it a lot better than I thought I would. So definitely a cute little trend to try out and a different way to tie your scarf. All right, we have three more trends. Speaking of the shawl theme, bold collars and accentuating crazy necklines was another big trend. And because I'm not that big of like a neck person, I looked at in my closet of all the stuff that have like fun collars. And I went with this dress from Love Shack Fancy for Target that I got from ThreadUp that has this sort of high Victorian collar. And I kind of want to do like a haunted Victorian doll that is owned by the daughter of a Harley Davidson motorcyclist. So like the girly daughter that's like in the sidecar of like this tough burly motorcyclist, this is her doll that like her dad picked up at a flea market. So I have the Love Shack fancy dress and to keep in the leather trend and just to add some like fun silhouette to it, I added this corset that I got from L Train in New York. It's from Sheen originally. And I paired it with this bonnet that I actually crocheted myself. Bonnets were pretty big a couple years ago and I also feel like it continued with like the neck accentuating by like tying something around my neck to pick up the bows in my bonnet i paired it with my coach cargo tabby which has a little bow that i got custom printed on again it has the chains just to add in that like edge and then to continue on with the kind of girliness of it to juxtapose with the two leather pieces i have these really pretty tights that are originally from Urban Outfitters that I got from Poshmark and then my Doc Martin platforms to like again continue the juxtaposition of like lacy girly bows and like leather hardness. I like this outfit. People have feelings about bonnets. I know people probably won't like this outfit. I think it's really chic. I think it's really cool and I don't want to hear it. Our second to last trend is the office siren or corporate core trend. This has been popular for a couple years. It's a quite easy trend to do. So whenever I do something corporate core, I always break out this vest that I got from Savers. It's like Jones New York boys. I <laughs> think it's for like children, but whatever, it works. And I paired it with my Black Drift Avenue skirt and this chain belt that was my great aunt's. And again, I'm wearing the black leather boots that I wore for my witchy boho outfit. 
just to make it more like contemporary. This is more like an early autumn outfit because it's not very warm, but the boots add a little bit of coverage. And as my like work bag, I decided to go with my Mulberry Alexa. I just thought it was very like, oh, I'm carrying all my things in my big tote kind of energy. And then I put my hair in a claw clip with some sunglasses just to add in like, again, like I'm hailing a taxi and I'm like running to the office to work at my fashion magazine. And it's a cute outfit. I've definitely worn this outfit or something similar before. It's not super colorful, but I do like the silhouette and everything of it, and I think it's cute. And the last outfit or the last trend that I have for you guys is the statement coat trend. So for this, I decided to go with my bright pink coat and I wanted to show you how to style it in two ways. So the first way you can style a statement coat is letting the coat speak for itself. So I paired it with an all black outfit. I have these Jerf Avenue Ash on the go pants and then this leather vest from Banana Republic that is vintage that I actually wore in last week's video. And then just these bright heels from Coach that happen to match my jacket perfectly. And this just like allows the jacket to speak for itself. If you don't have a statement coat or you just got one and you have no idea how to wear it. This is like an easy introduction on how to wear bright coats. And then my alternative is to complement the coat with other colors. Just because you're wearing a bright coat or a bold coat doesn't mean you have to wear something plain underneath it. So my favorite combination is like pink and orange or pink and green. So I went with this J. Crew cashmere green sweater that I got from Savers. I think it is so cute. And then my favorite Levi High Loose Light Wash jeans. I think the light green and the light blue really complement the pink and then I wore a headband with the same colors to sort of tie it all in and I have those same shoes and I think this outfit is also so cute and like fun and it shows that a statement coat doesn't have to be like a total detraction from your outfit it can be something that like complements it or that is just a part of the entire whole which i think is really cute and this is definitely something an outfit that i would wear a zillion times i just got these pink shoes but trust and believe they will be around for a very long time all right and with that that is going to conclude today's video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed which outfit was your favorite mine was either the plaid frazzled english woman outfit or the nice neck Victorian haunted doll outfit. I think both of those were really chic and cute, even though other people might not like them. So I wanna know what you guys like. And also leave a comment down below what else you'd like to see from me. I always love hearing from you. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I post content there pretty frequently. Also subscribe to this channel because I have a new YouTube video every Thursday. And if you want more from me, I have a Patreon where I post two exclusive videos there a month if you wanna support me and this channel. And with that, have a happy, happy day. Bye.